Our today's topic is types of cyber attacks. The first one in our overview is denial of service attack or just a DOS attack. There are many ways of creating a DOS attack. For example, ping attack is conducted just by sending many ping requests to a victim. Sin flood attack is nearly the same as ping attack, but many TCP SYN requests are sent to a victim. That initiates a TCP three-way handshake, but attacker never finishes the three-way negotiation. This creates many half-open connections on the victim host that consumes all its processing resources. In smart attack, attacker send the ping message to a broadcast network address on behalf of the victim IP address. All the systems working in this network reply to this ping, but they are traffic destined not to the attacker, but to the victim. It's a type of distributed denial of service attack. We will discuss distributed denial of service attacks later in this lesson. Some of the attacks could be conducted exploiting the weaknesses of applications or network protocols. For example, in buffer overflow attack, maliciously formatted parameter is sent to the working application on the host that leads to buffer overflow in the RAM. Using this type of attack, attacker can either create a denial of service of that particular application or even the whole system. Slow denial of service means that attacker sends many requests to a host that are processed very slowly on this host and it leads to a consumption of all processing resources on the victim. On this slide, the example of DOS attack is present. In DOS attack, only one attacker sent some malware bad pockets to the destination host to create a DOS attack of this host. In this example, attacker sent many ping requests to the remote host to create a denial of service of this victim. On this slide, the example of DDoS attack is present, distributed DOS attack. It means that many hosts participate in this type of attack and tries to create a DOS attack of the victim. For example, it could be done using the smart attack when attacker send a ping message to a broadcast address of this network and all the hosts that are on this network reply with ping replies to this victim, to this vulnerable host, and will create a tunnel of service. Sniffing. Sniffing is not really an attack, it's just a method of an intercepting of all traffic that is transmitted in your network. Sniffers can work in non promiscuous and promiscuous modes. When sniffer works in non promiscuous mode, it can intercept only traffic destined to the host where sniffer is activated. In promiscuous mode, sniffer can intercept all the traffic without looking at the destination, IP address, and MAC address. Spoofing There are very many different spoofing attacks. For example, MAC address spoofing occurs when one computer accepts data pockets based on the MAC address of another computer. In IP spoofing, Attacker send IP pockets with fake source IP address. For example, the same mechanism is used during the smart DOS attack. Our protocol is used to determine the MAC address of the host having only its IP address. ARP spoofing means that attacker send fake ARP replies when MAC address of the attacker is pointed to the victim's IP address. Considering that switches make forwarding decisions based on MAC addresses means that attacker could create a man-in-the-middle attack using ARP spoofing and intercept all traffic going from and destined to victim host. We will talk a little bit about man-in-the-middle attacks on the next slide. DNS is used to resolve the IP addresses of the hosts having only their names. For example, google.com is the name of the service and DNS helps to resolve the IP address of Google.com, so the host can forward traffic to the server. First of all, attacker needs to create a man-in-the-middle attack to intercept all the traffic of the victim and then spoof DNS queries providing fake IP addresses to requested services. This will lead a victim to a malware server. Man-in-the-middle attacks can be created in many ways. It allows to intercept 
all the traffic going from and destined it to a victim host. Attacker can do anything with that traffic. He can steal information from it, he can disrupt information or send it to the black hole to create the network dynamo or service of the victim, or even use some messages, for example authentication messages, to reply them and try to bypass security mechanisms. Also, many in the middle attacks for mobile phones exist. For example, Zeus malware can capture two-step verification SMS messages sent to users and then send them to the attacker. Zero-day attack is a computer attack that tries to exploit software vulnerabilities that are unknown or undisclosed by the software vendor. The term zero-hour describes the moment when someone discovers the exploit. After exploit discovery, the patch must be released by the vendor. Then this patch must be distributed to the vulnerable systems and installed on them. It could take much time and efforts. Many of zero days could stay unnoticed for years. For example, Dirty Cow vulnerability has been present in Linux-based systems for more than 9 years before it has been discovered and fixed. Keylogger is type of malware that intercept all the keystrokes, saving them to the file and then send this file to an attacker. Your chat history, passwords and other information could be intercepted by the attacker using keyloggers. Also a hardware device could be connected to the keyboard cable to intercept the keystrokes. The purpose of hardware keylogger is the same as software keylogger, but such devices could be hard to find. And our final step, how to defend from attacks. To prevent attacks in your network, consider at least the next security rules. Configure firewalls on all the systems in your network and even on mobile devices if it's possible. Use intrusion detection or intrusion prevention systems to block network attacks and determine network anomalies. To prevent those attacks, update and patch all applications operating systems and firmware on network devices, because old versions can be vulnerable to buffer overflow attacks. Distribute the workload between servers. Block external ICMP messages. To prevent reply attacks, encrypt all traffic in transit wherever possible. Provide cryptographic authentication and include timestamps in the messages. Also, don't forget about changing default passwords and use strong password policy. Good luck in learning, stay secure, and thank you for viewing.